chirping of crickets. They sound probably very familiar to you, especially on a warm summer evening, or maybe you've had them invade your house and started chirping in the basement or garage. I have heard for years that you were able to predict the temperature by counting the number of chirps. However, I never really knew how to do this, so I decided to look into it, and it's actually surprisingly simple. The method has been formulated in what is called Dobert's Law, which basically says you count the number of chirps in 14 seconds, add 40, and that gives you the temperature in Fahrenheit. Very, very simple. So I decided to test this. All that you really need is a thermometer, a stopwatch, and then head into the backyard and find a cricket. and I almost instantly ran into problems. Namely that about half of the crickets that I was listening to were not even close to what the actual temperature was. They were actually much, much less. In other words, telling or predicting a far, far cooler temperature. But as I paid attention to these particular crickets, I realized some inconsistencies. For example, some would chirp for a few seconds, pause for a few seconds, chirp for a few seconds, take a break, kind of back and forth like that. They were not very consistent. There were some other crickets that would speed up or slow down, speed up, slow down, so they were not a very steady. And then there were some that were just very, very lethargic, just chirp, wait two, three, four seconds, chirp again, and, and for whatever reason, I, they were just not cooperating. But the other half, and these are crickets that had basically a very, very steady beat, they just chirp, 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 chirp for a good minute or so. So if they had a steady cadence, and you were able to pick up on or able to differentiate between those that were sort of unsteady and kind of non-cooperative versus the others, these others that were very steady. Concentrate on the ones that had a very steady rate and you can generate data that looks like this. On the left column you see the number of chirps in 14 seconds. The central column is the predicted temperature and then the column on the right is the temperature that I actually measured. And you can see that these crickets were a, either right on or only off by a degree, which is absolutely stunning that an insect can do this. Um, I, did, I, I took these data over several days so, so that I could get a variety of temperatures, and you can see it's from roughly 60 to 80 degrees. So within that temperature range, this works incredibly well. So, can crickets really tell the temperature? And surprisingly, yes, these insects can predict the temperature, but there is a rather large asterisk next to that, and that some, for whatever reason, are not in the mood to do so. If you're able to differentiate those that have a steady cadence or beat to it and focus on those, you can, you can actually predict the temperature. So the next time you're outside, you're out camping or next to a campfire, uh, just sit back, count the number of chirps, and you can have fun with this. So I am going to have a second video, and in that video there's going to be more of the background science behind this and some tips and tricks if you want to go out and try this on your own. Uh, so, so if you're curious about this, you can explore this in greater detail. I'll put a link in the description, and there should be something at the end of this video uh, about where you can click on it to go to that. So in the meantime, until the next video, have fun exploring nature.